Hey guys, welcome to my channel Harshu Education and today we are going to take a question that is valid palindrome. It's a very simple question. It comes in easy category in the code. It's very important. You might get asked in this question in a, a junior or medium level profile in the coding round. So let's dive into it. So the problem is we, we will be given a string and we have to check if it is a palindrome or not. So when we say palindrome, uh, we are talking about it should be similar from uh, from front and from back, like ABA. So when we see it from front, it is ABA. So when we reverse the string, then also it is ABA. So from front and from back, it is always ABA, ABA, right? So that is, this is a palindrome string. Whereas, let's say another string, ABCD, it's not a palindrome because from front it says A, B, C, D, but from back it says D, C, B, A, right? So this is not a palindrome. Let's say we have A, A, B, B, A, A. This is a palindrome because from front also it says A, A, B, B, A, A. And then from back also it says A, A, B, B, A, A, right? If we say C over here, then it's not a palindrome because from front it says A, A, B, C, C, A, but from back it says A, A, C, B, A, A, right? So it should the string should be similar uh, from front and back uh, even if when you reverse the string uh, it should be same so that is what is palindrome right so a little bit of twist in the code question is it should only be alphanumeric character and we can ignore cases include traces means capital a would be same as small a right so when when we are writing our code you have to take this in consideration and this colon or semicolon, all these things will not be considered only alphanumeric characters. So only characters or integers can be considered. Any other things we won't consider. So how we can solve this question, right? So let's say uh, what we can do, uh, the first thing that comes into our mind and which is a good approach uh, is we can have two pointers, right? Uh, one we can call front and one we can call rare pointer, front pointer and rare pointer, right? And we can keep moving the front pointer towards the string. Like we can keep incrementing it and rare pointer we can keep decrementing it. And you can compare the characters at, at those pointers while incrementing and decrementing those pointers. So if it is always similar, uh, the front pointer and back pointer is always similar then we can say that yes, this is a palindrome. And if it is not similar, then we can say it's not a palindrome. So in this case, we have to ignore these characters as well, which is not an alphanumeric. So while while these comparison um, with the front and rear pointer, we have to make sure that whenever we encounter a non-alphanumeric character, we have to skip that character. So to skip it, we will just increment that uh, our front or rear pointer by one and not compare at that time. So every time we are at any pointer, we are comparing, right? We will compare the first and last. But if it is not an alphanumeric character, if it is not an alphanumeric character, we won't compare it. We will just skip it. We will just move to the next uh, next character in that array list, in that array of string. So. That said, let's do it. So the first thing we'll do is uh, we will create an array of character because we can't compare in a string. So let's create an array. So first thing is create array of characters out of our given string, right? And then second thing is we have to create two pointers, right? So create two pointers, right? Uh, the first one will point to zero, whereas the rare one will point to, you know, our string array, array dot count minus one, right? And then uh, we'll create a while loop. So we'll start the loop. Uh, loop through the array of cars, right? Until 
until our first pointer is less than our rare pointer, right? We'll loop until our first pointer is less than our rare pointer, right? And in the loop, while looping, we will check if the character, right, if the character is alphanumeric or not. So to do that, we'll create create a function called is alpha, which will return as true if the character if the character is alphanumeric, right? So create a function alpha and check it. Check if char is alpha or sorry alpha or not. If it is an alpha, if it's not it's not an alpha numeric character numeric. If it is not an alpha numeric character, we will skip. We'll skip that character. Skip the character. We'll skip the character, right? We'll punish it. Oh, it's not alphanumeric. So we'll punish it and we'll skip that character. If it is alphanumeric, if it is alphanumeric, alphanumeric, then we will compare. Compare the cares at first and rare index, right? So this is our sort of work. Oh, let's try to this. If if compare compare is not correct. If if it says that no, the compares is not correct. If you don't get uh, the same characters, then return false, right? Else we'll return true. Put, uh, so just in plain simple language, right? So first we'll create the character out of our given array, so that we can do our comparison. So to do that in Swift, we will write where array char array of characters and we'll write this array and s so this will give me array of characters right then second thing is we have to create first and rare pointer first and rare pointer so we'll say var first right which would be zero and var rare which would be our array count Array char dot count minus one, right? And then we'll run our while loop, right? And the condition would be our first should be less than our last, right? So this should always be true if we want to in compare. So uh, we have to check if this alphanumeric character before comparison. So we'll create one more function. That would be is alpha, right? And this will return a boolean, right? And also it will take a character. Character, right? And we'll see if c dot is letter. So we have a function is letter in Swift which will give us if the correct current current character is letter or not, if it is not a letter, it will return false. Or c dot is number. These two functions will help us to determine if that character is alphanumeric or not, right? So in our while loop, we'll first check if it is alphanumeric or not. So if it is not alphanumeric character, is alpha. Uh, let's pass our Character and the first character. If it is so, the first character, so the first uh, character, if it is not an alphanumeric character, then we'll move our first pointer, increment our first pointer. We'll do the same thing for our last character, just replace it last, last, but instead of incrementing, we will decrement it this time, right? And if it is if it is alphanumeric character, then we'll just do our comparison. So let's do our comparison, right? So oh sorry, let's let me take this. 
right? So, alpha care first, and we have to make sure that we are we are ignoring cases. So, lower case equals to equals to array care uh, R E A or rare dot lower case right uh, not the good one we want to check the bad conditions if it is not equals then we will return false we'll say sorry this is not a palindrome return false uh, also one more thing so if it is skippable character right if it is not an alphanumeric character we will write a keyword called continue right so it will it says that don't go in the next line of our while loop just go from the starting so the continue keyword ignore anything behind it so it, it will just ignore these and go to the next loop right so same thing over here we'll just continue because if the character is not comparable because we are ignoring all the non-alphanumeric characters right okay so i think this should do uh i think we have the c over here so i should put that in our functions yeah this should be good right okay let's run it oops oops it's not last it's rare sorry it is rare what we have created i keep saying rare and last so it gets i think everywhere else have used rare or not? yeah oh okay rare man rare not last Oh, we have to okay so for the good condition we have to return true also man so return true right so this is the bad condition where we are returning false we are saying no sorry this is not a palindrome but if this while loop goes happily that yeah we have all the characters similar and it doesn't go in this line then it should return a true right so yes run code Uh, why is it taking so long? Time exceeded. Okay, seems like my internet is slow. Come on, man. Should work because it's it's not. They're not doing any heavy thing. Oh really? Okay, is there anything which you're doing which is very heavy? No, we're not doing anything. Oh, come on, man. We have to increment our pointers. Really, we have to do this. Yeah, otherwise we'll be stuck in this loop for forever. And that's why the time is exceeding. Thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. So this should work now. Let's submit our code. Okay, yeah, so this is working. Okay, so that's how we do it. We first write it in our plain language, plain English, all the steps we want to do. If we do miss anything, we will miss over here also, like we did. We didn't write to increment our pointers over here, which is which is like self-understood. So we, in the while loop, we have to increment your pointers, otherwise you will be forever stuck in that. So yeah, sorry about that, and it should be good. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye bye.